Hey guys, welcome to our tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to use the 3D paint. One of the coolest features in Maya is the ability to do 3D paint. So what that means is you can actually paint on an object and then save that actual file out as a bitmap. So let me show you how that works. We're going to go into the surface menu and just create a sphere. As usual, you shade it by pressing 5. Then apply, then apply a material to it. So the material we're going to apply, I'm, I th I'm thinking fong. We'll apply a fong material to it. And usually to apply a texture to this material, we just click on the, that checker box and apply it to that. Or we can um, click on color, then apply it. We've got all these other options, but we're not going to do that now. We're going to actually paint um, we're going to actually paint a bitmap to that, okay? So, um, how that, that is done, you go, you go to your drop-down menus and make sure you're in the rendering menu. Then you go to texturing, want 3D paint, but don't click on there. Click on this little box, okay? When you click on that little box, um, you, this, um, all these attributes will come up. And uh, on these attributes, you've got options. You've got br brush options. You've got this little um, Gaussian brush, okay? You've got the uh, soft edge brush, hard edge, and the square brush. You've got all these other options. I'm going to choose this little soft edge brush. <coughs> and if we try to paint right now, if we try to paint on here, nothing is going to happen. Look, nothing is going to happen because we just can't. What we need to do is um, click on assign edit textures to be able to paint on that so we'll click on that assign edit textures and you've got your your um, X and Y coordinates on here okay these are your brush coordinates we don't we'll leave it at that we'll leave it at uh, default and you've got your um, image format you've got your JPG you've got all the uh, JPG PNG all these other um, attributes but what we want to work with is the targa because I like working with the targa, so it's here. Yeah. We're working with the targa for now. So targa and um, assign edit textures. So now after after doing that, we'll be able to actually paint on this bad boy. And uh, <coughs> if we think the the uh, <coughs> pardon me, if we think the brush is a bit too big or too small, you can just click uh, B on your keyboard and just um. Move, uh, right click on your mouse then drag your mouse left or right to adjust the brush and uh, if you want to change the color as usual just click on that one and just apply whatever color you want okay apply whatever color you want and the other uh, good feature that we've got is the ability to actually flood this sphere with whatever color we want so let's uh, flood it with uh, let's flood it with yellow um, just click on yeah make sure it's yellow and just flood it with yellow that's it the whole thing will be yellow now we can paint on the yellow ball so um, what people usually do is um do little touch-ups in uh, in Maya using the 3D paint. They'll just do the touch-up, do the outline, you know. Then transfer, then just transfer the textures to um, <clears throat> to Photoshop. Then do additional detailed um, painting in Photoshop. Okay, that's how people do it. Um, so how is that done? Well, I'm gonna show you now how it's done. When you do um, your outline in Maya, okay. Let's do one more color. Uh, blue looks good. When you do your outline in Maya, you go to your file, save uh, scene as. Okay, you're saving your scene. Save your th scene as just 3D paint. 3D paint, yeah. 3D paint, there you go. And just save as. Do you want to replace it? Yes, I want to replace it we've actually saved that 3D paint then you go into your attributes because we applied the phone 
that's a material that we applied we find in the phone that's your uh, sample material but you wouldn't want that we want the texture you just uh, go down once you find the uh, texture sample on there that's your texture you can find it in your um 3d you can find it in your 3d paint files okay as you can see here it says shape one um dash color dot targa okay that's where you're gonna find your your uh, your your textures <clears throat> so yeah we're happy with that one with that one we can actually from there we'll be able to actually transfer this into Photoshop do a more detailed um, painting then bring it back to um, to Maya and load it so when we load it in Maya when we let me just bring bring up the 3d uh, paint two attributes when we load it in Maya we can um, we can do whatever we want to do. We can actually um, paint, erase, clone, blur, smear. We've got all these additional attributes that we can work with. Let me show you how they work. Remember, we saved the file, all right? Then, if we want to add additional an additional color, like let's say this little uh, sky blue thing, we can add that in there, and think. Um, Guys, I don't think this is working. This is not too, it doesn't look as good as it was before. Then you can actually erase. Okay? You can actually erase what you've done. This, um, this erase tool is more like the, um, the normal computer undo tool. Okay? It's more like the undo. It just does, it just undo, uh, undo it to where you started from after saving the file if that makes any sense after loading the file wh whatever additional uh, work you're gonna put onto it can be undone so that's how it works <clears throat> and again you can actually um, smear you can actually smear this and blur it you can, you've got all these attributes to work with just play with them in your own time one other thing that I need to point out is um, when you <clears throat> when you actually leave this, okay? When you leave when you leave um, this, do when you have done with whatever you're doing here, you close Maya, open it the next time, and try to do the same thing. If you leave it on blur, it will be on blur, okay? Make sure you put it back on paint. If it's not, if you try, if you do everything that I just did, and you try to paint, it's not painting. Just go back to your um, to your to your point operation and make sure it's on paint. Okay, make sure it's not on erase or any other attribute. Make sure it's on paint. So yeah, that's um, that's how it works. And once you've done all your um, extra extra work in it, and you're happy with your um, you're happy with your, your with your work, you don't have to go back into file and uh, save as or file and save scene you don't have to, you, you won't have to do that uh, to do that anymore you can actually just save the textures that's so you can just click on save textures then my automatically just save the textures not everything including the sphere you just save the textures that way you can actually load the textures next time onto the sphere whatever sphere you wanna you wanna do with it so that's my for you and uh, one last thing I need to um, to mention, to point out, is uh, 3D Paint uses pressure sensitive. It's got pressure sensitivity. So, for you guys who are lucky enough to get a graphics tablet, you can definitely you can definitely get a lot more out of it. Okay, you can definitely get a lot more out of it. So, for some of us who are using the mouse, well, I've got a graphic tablet, but <laughs> for, for 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 some of us who some of you guys who are using a mouse you won't get as much out of it okay so just keep that in mind yep so that's our little tutorial if you enjoyed this tutorial please just comment or thumbs up it would be nice or um, and if you like my videos feel free to subscribe that way you'll be able to um, see the rest of my videos and you'll be updated when I when I upload a new video so yeah, that's our little tutorial guys and I'll uh, see you in the next tutorial. And the next tutorial 
we the, ne the next tutorial will be um, rendering so we're done with all this texturing work we're moving on to rendering so if uh, rendering is what you really wanted um, subscribe and if you already subscribed just wait for my uh, next tutorial so yeah thank you very much for your for uh, thank you very much guys and uh, see you in the next tutorial